Hey guys, today is going to be a little different. You can tell because I've chosen this beautiful sunrise over my usual avatar. This week I'm not doing a theory, I'm not doing a mystery list, but instead showing a new creation. Some really cool scenes from Tears of the Kingdom. Last week I mentioned how I have a new camera tool, and used it to get footage of the light dragon to confirm a few things. Well, since then, I've been playing through the game again and using that tool to collect more footage kind of like that. I quickly realized I could use that tool to remake stunning scenes and recapture parts of the game. It's a bit like cinematography. I'm calling these vignettes, so basically small stories. I won't bore you with the details. Actually, there's going to be less talking from me during the video. So kick back and relax while I show off the fruits of my labor. Enjoy. The Kolgara battle is truly a magnificent one. It's not hard by any means. I didn't take any damage from it on my first attempt. But man, was it amazing to do. Seeing Link and Tulin work together to overcome the threat is really cool too. Given Tulin's history with Link, it must be like fighting alongside one of your idols. Seeing the interior of Kolgara's body is really interesting. I've always found crystalline entities fascinating, and assuming that Kolgara is made of ice, it would count as that. Did you know you can skydive through its weak points? I couldn't get a good shot of it in this footage. But maybe, as I get better with the tool, I'll try again in the future. What more can I say than it looks awesome? This is truly one of the highlights of the game. And this song is in the top bracket for the game soundtrack. Link and Sidon are really cool together. Their relationship deserves a video all on its own. Maybe I'll do one for Valentine's Day. A lot of people don't care for the Water Temple in the game. I think it's cool from a lore perspective, but lacking as a dungeon. Muktarok as a boss is a bit underwhelming. But his shark form looks really awesome. I didn't fully come to appreciate it until I was gathering this footage. I mean, well, look at it. Here is another great view of it in the air. I grabbed this shot at night so the vibrant purple would stick out more. It's stunning. There is a playful aspect to this boss too, because when Muktarok is exposed, he actively runs from you. I just had to do a scene like this. I also really like how the secret stone is in the background here. I've always liked it when heroes end up fighting each other. 
In this case, Yanobo has been mind controlled by his mask, and Link has to take him down a notch. The fight isn't hard, but I wanted a lot of good shots for my archive. Yanobo spinning like this was hard to capture, but so worth it. It makes you wonder why that coat doesn't burn off, right? If you can't tell, I really like the Wu Liz Alpo's horn as a weapon. It basically gives Link a katana. The game has a heavy Japanese feel to it, so why not embrace it? I also managed to create this really cool scene with evil Princess Zelda at the end. Normally, you only get a brief look at her while she walks away. I was able to make this though, and I think it looks far more ominous. Hey guys, are you liking the video? If you are, clicking that like button would sure make my day. Consider subscribing if you like what I do. It's free and I put out a video every week. Now let's move on to a really pretty one. Last week I got some good footage of the Light Dragon, but why stop there? I wanted some nice footage of the Master Sword and was delighted to find out that when you start to pull the sword, her position in the sky stops. As such, it became a lot easier to get this footage because, despite her motion, they aren't actually moving. I think this scene at dawn is really stunning. When pulling the sword, the light trail isn't visible. It looks like they disabled it for this sequence. Which makes sense, because with the camera so close normally, you wouldn't be able to see it. Seeing her eyes jitter like this really sells the idea she is in pain. I like to think that when you pull it from her, you are relieving that pain. Like when you finally get a splinter out of your thumb. When I play through the game, I generally choose an outfit I like. This time, I decided to rock the archaic tunic. In part, because I feel it is lore accurate. But also because you can really see the fusion pattern from Raru's arm. Anyhow, I'll save drawing the sword for later. Let's move on. Now from something beautiful to something creepy. Gloom hands. I love the look on Link's face when chucking the bomb. It's basically how we all feel when dealing with these things. I just had to include a shot of them on fire. Hope you enjoy it.
This scene of course happens inside of the Deku Tree, where you are thrown into a battle with Phantom Ganon. The footage of him is really good here, they nailed the design. I love how they included the names Kotake and Kome on his weapons, like in Wind Waker. I wish we knew more about those two witches in the past. Here's hoping for a director's cut of the game on the Switch too. I also like how you can see his secret stone so clearly, and glowing red eyes always look cool. He really seems like a staggering corpse, and the more you look at him, the more grotesque he appears. It looks almost like he is made from blood, which I guess the gloom looks like as well considering he is made of the stuff. At least, I think he is. This one was by far the most challenging footage to collect. I really wanted good footage of Merakia because I feel it's a boss that is a bit overlooked. I think it looks awesome. Just look at the fire in its mouth. I hate how bland Link's expression is when piloting a machine. I worked really hard to get a good shot of Yonobo being used as a projectile. I really wanted to capture him on fire like this. After impact, Moragia has a split second where it is recoiling in pain before breaking apart. It was very hard to capture this moment. You can also see Yonobo curled up into a ball. I bet rolling around on that chain is uncomfortable. Man, flying around Death Mountain fighting a lava monster is so very cool. These rocks have fire trailing from them in the game, and sadly that effect isn't preserved when using this tool. This looks really good at sunset though. And one more shot of its mouth before moving on. This last one is the Gerudo Town Defense. It reminds me of something out of Hyrule Warriors, though a lot more stripped down. I really wanted to get footage of Riju being cool, both as a leader and a combatant. Her lightning ability is really effective against Gibdos. Sadly, it's not very good outside of these curated battles. I love this scene of Gerudo soldiers fighting the Gibdo and wanted to show more of that. Here we can see just how creepy a horde of Gyptos really are. I'm a little disappointed they aren't actually zombies or something, but instead some insect species. I think the wings of the moth Gibdo are really pretty. I made sure to get this one at night to show it off more. I know, I'm weird, but I think they look cool. And of course, the victory shot is cool. Well done, ladies.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. This was an experiment today, but I think I'll put out at least one more of these types of videos. Who knows, maybe virtual photography is my next new hobby. Not that I need any more of those. Anyhow, if you like what I made, show your support with a like and subscribe to the channel. If you are able to, supporting my channel directly through Patreon or becoming a channel member helps out tremendously. It is only because of the supporters I have now that I am able to continue this. And if I'm being honest, I need more support. Doing so will gain you access to my Discord where we can talk about upcoming projects, various theories, or just chat about Zelda stuff. Oh, and plenty of extra footage that didn't make it into the episode. For those of you who are already supporting me, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot, and you are allowing me to do what I love most. Making art for others to enjoy. That's all I got for you today. Be safe and may the way of the hero lead to the Triforce.